Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have. Hey yo, man, we got Wack 100 talking about uh, the, the the huge feature that's about to show up on Six Nines. What you call it? See what I'm saying? Uh, we got 50 Cent reacting to being told he's not a top 10 rapper. Uh, Tyler and Quali revealing some Ghost Riders, man. Uh, who else we got, man? Kanye on Talib. Uh, what else we got over here, man? And we got Julio Fulio in French Montana again. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Hey, yo, if this your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button. If you crack even a little bit of a smile, man, it definitely helps your boy out, man. That subscribe button's waiting for you to tap it, so go on and give it a tap. And hit that notification bell so you can be on deck when we drop the insanity. Because with these artists, insanity drops like every damn day. You see what I'm saying? Let's get right to it. Yo, French Montana has threatened to drop an album called They Got Amnesia. But he must have forgot, right? That Doja Cat was the one who calls the shots, man. Remember when folks try to come at your boy French talking about um, uh, <laughs> your only hot tracks are the ones that have features? And then he broke into his They Got Amnesia speech and then he kept saying like something else. You see what I'm saying? Well, your boy has stated that his album could not come out because of the following. Hey, yo, take a listen. Guys, I pulled up on French just to tell him this album is not coming out unless this video is coming out. So... Yeah, she pulled up on the birthday, too. Yeah, no, I'm yeah. unstoppable. Hey, yo, hey, yo, your boy added, quote, um, Doja Cat pulled up on me on my birthday to let me know this album ain't dropping on November 12th till this video is done. Can't argue with the queen. You heard? Right? Stay tuned. Close quote. You heard the man. Yo, stay tuned. Don't forget. Don't forget. They got amnesia. You see what I'm saying? Hey, yo, we did a story a few days ago about uh, Julio Fulio, where the man said uh, he was literally shot at a hundred times. Literally. Okay? Yeah, don't it drive you crazy when people misuse the word literally, man? When they mean like, like specifically or definitely, but they're using the word literally. You see what I'm saying? The police was like, uh, we only found 20 shell casings at the scene. Let me ask you a question. Who lied? The police or Fulio? Uh, who do you trust to tell the truth? The police or Fulio? No, 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 no. I want you to say the answer out loud in a full damn sentence, man. A full sentence. I so-and-so trust and then complete the sentence. The police or Julio Fulio? Hey, ain't you low-key ashamed about who you actually trust in that situation? In all honesty, right? <laughs> if someone shot at you 20 times, don't you think you would have felt like it sounded like 100 bullets? You see what I'm saying? It's like it's like if you were tied down and 20 people spat in your mouth. Wouldn't that have felt like 100? <laughs> Look at what's their name in the back, pushing away his food, man. You dirty father mucker. Don't you be boasting about having over 20 bodies, man? You see what I'm saying? But that's nasty. <laughs> Yo, let me keep, let me keep it moving, man. I, I might have lost 20 subs off of that. And you know how many subs it feels like when you lose 20? That's right. 100. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, uh, part two of Kanye's Drink Champs interview dropped on the 11th, November 11th. And on that joint, the conversation of Kanye being a backpack rapper came up. Now, for the uninitiated, right? A backpack rapper is a person who dislikes mainstream and commercial rap, all right? A person who raps about real life stuff that matters and things experienced in life. You see what I'm saying? Like taxes and traffic and crap like that. Yeah, you know I mean, conscious rap and whatnot, okay? They rarely rap about pimping hoes, having millions, and selling immense amounts of drugs, okay? R murdering random people for no apparent damn reason or motive, okay? Um, now, when Kanye was asked about being a backpack rapper Kanye stated quote not at all uh, you know what I'm saying uh, I don't have nothing against the backpack rappers I was using that type of music to be successful I apologize once again to Talib Kweli I'm sorry I never effed with your raps now I'm really gonna have to fight this man there's gonna be 10 ninjas with fitted caps from 12 years ago Chase Key said what up man um uh Yo, 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 that man said, I used to be successful. In other words, I, I used to use that to be successful, right? In other words, I played the game and hustled the hustle man. You see what I'm saying? He, he knew like exactly what was necessary that he needed to play the, and he played the game and freaking he won the Game of Thrones. 
You know what I mean? Became like rap, like the rap billionaire, man. You see what I'm saying? Now, Talib Kweli has responded to Ye by merely posting pics of Kanye's Ghost Riders. Now, um, hopefully, Sauce is holding us down and um, showing the pics of the Ghost Riders, man. You see what I'm saying? Post some folks like John Legend, Pusha T. I, I, I think I even saw a Von, Fonsworth Bentley in the joint. You see what I'm saying? It was wild, man. You know what I mean? Um, I forgot uh, Fonsworth Bentley used to like, you know what I'm saying? Do his thing. <sighs> let me ask you a question, man. Um, well, matter of fact, let me do my shout outs real quick. Yeah, I want to give a quick shout out to uh, Psych. I told you the truth. <laughs> Sit, right? S I T T T, right? I like I like that name. Psych. I told you the truth. Uh, this man said you low key hating on Will, and I'm trying to tell him like I'm not really hating on Will Smith, man. I want to like Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? He's a wholesome cat. I like wholesome dudes, man. You know what I mean? At least that's the image that he portrayed. You know what I'm saying? I, I think I'm just very disappointed because the more he he's been saying lately that like the worse it makes him look you know what i mean and then jada didn't help the situation either man so you know I, I feel bad for will man real talk uh uriel angel came through and said the only thing we as blacks in america have is hip-hop because remember i asked the question do black americans have culture he said unless you like to claim soul food as being a part of the culture and even those meals are commemorative of the scraps we were given in slavery yeah but sometimes i'm just be mad good though you know what i'm saying anyway he said unpopular fact every black person in america isn't a product of slavery that being true, as a whole, we just do what our communities deem socially acceptable with no sense of cultural tradition. That's heavy stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, yo, Marcus Smith came through and said, bro, why do you have trans ads on your video? I guess you'll sell yourself for a dollar too. <laughs> yo, Marcus Smith, let me throw this out here, fam. All right, let me throw this out here about the trans ads, okay? Uh, Google owns YouTube as far as I understand. You follow what I'm saying, man? So when you Google certain topics, right? Google starts feeding you certain ads based on your search history. Are you following what I'm saying, man? So if I'm look like when I was trying to buy a car, right? And I started looking up like transport car companies and whatnot, I started getting that in my ad history. You follow what I'm saying, man? So if you're getting trans ads, you know what I'm saying, fed to you during our videos, it ain't us that put them trans ad there. It's you. You follow what I'm saying, Marcus Smith? I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm just telling you what makes the kind of ads pop up on your history. It's based on the things that you've been looking at, okay? So don't come at us, all right? I'm just telling you, like you trying to tell me it's me, I'm trying to tell you it's you. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> right? And Don Finucci said, yo, the hood raised. Most blacks follow a culture developed by Caucasian people. That's crazy stuff right there, man. Um, uh, and Snap said, yo, Keys didn't holler at us. Y'all changing, man. Keys just said something. Um, you know, I told you, man, if the keys is in my lap, they're going to slide off my thing and fall onto the... Because you're not recording the car. Yo, it don't matter, yo, if I make a million, million dollars off of this channel, I'm recording in my damn car. It's, at this point, it's official. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, let me get right back to it, man. I think I, 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 I babbled long enough. Uh, let me ask you a question. Would you put 50 Cent in your top 10 list? And, and when I say top 10, I'm talking about like heavyweight game changers in, in the game. You know what I'm saying? Top 10 list from New York. Okay. 50 was on a plane enjoying. Stuff. Why, why is she bent over? <laughs> let me focus. Uh, 50 was on a, cause I'm, I'm in a car, I'm at Target and you know what I'm saying? Anyway, 50 was at, <laughs> my fault. 50 was on a plane enjoying snacks and apparently someone must have said something along the lines of 50 not being in a top 10 and 50 addressed the statement directly by saying they said I'm not in the top 10 out of New York artists I'm nobody's favorite I'm a nightmare for these fools when I focus right and then Bobby Schmurter co-signed and said without a question and uh, Lil Meech Big Meech, Meech's son said they couldn't F with you on your worst day. Close quote. Yo, is 50 in your top 10 New York list of greats, man? Post that join in the comments below. For me, you know, you know 50 is in, uh, is in celebs top 10 list. From New York, most definitely. Without a doubt. Game changer, without a doubt. You see what I'm saying? I was just rocking What Up Gangster the other day. I cannot, that's like the song for me of the century. That and um, Reality by Black Moon, man. Oh my gosh, I love that track. Anyway, and finally... 
your favorite artist is about to drop a track. You like who you talking about? You know damn well who I'm talking about, man. Your number one, Takashi Six Nine. Okay, you know he being managed by Wack One Hundred, right? Well, Wack has stated that Six Nine is about to drop a track with the biggest feature of his career. Who's the biggest feature? Wouldn't you like to know? Um. Anyway, listen. Uh, the biggest <laughs> look. Take take a listen to what Wack One Hundred had to say about the biggest feature. Take a listen. Oh, uh, it's probably. Looking at it, yeah, this would be the biggest feature he didn't ever have. Damn. Damn. Oh, yeah. Is it a Nikki? Is it? Is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, Nikki ain't fucking nah, with it. Nah, it ain't no Nikki. Nah, no, it's, it's, nah, it's, it's bigger than Nikki. Damn. Damn. It's, 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 I already know. So, folks have said if Wack is managing um, 6 9 and Wack claims to be managing Kanye, I, I'm sorry, yay, then technically, you, 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 are you catching my drift, man? Uh, I guess folks are saying the biggest feature that Six Nine may have is Kanye West. Look, l listen. I mean, stranger things have happened. No, could it be possible that Ye could be a feature on a track with Takashi Six Nine? Wouldn't that be quite a sucker punch? I mean, we don't see Marilyn Manson show up with Kanye. We don't see the baby show up with Kanye. This is not like, you know, profound to me. If anything, if that is true. Now, here's the big question. Is Wack 100 trolling? Because it wouldn't be his first time. Can Ye be a feature on a 6ix9ine track? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Hey, yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source, Celeb News.